Olympic weight of 57 kilos. This should be a good one. Zhang Ning Ning, China. Coming out in the red, Japan in the blue, the 24-year-old Kawhi, world champion last year at 59. Both of these athletes, they've wrestled each other before a few times. They're gonna come out, they're gonna feel each other out, but they're gonna keep that pace. Kawhi has some really strong collar ties, and when she gets on, when she gets her hands on China, she's able to move her. And when she gets that throw by or shuck by, she's always looking for those, then she'll follow those right through. Passivity warning on red. That's China with Chong. Next time that'll be a 30 second shot clock. Good position from both of these athletes. They're, they're longtime foes, knowing that any small error or mistake is going to be able to open them up, and they can get points capitalized on them. They're being very calculated. And the shot clock will go into effect. They're going to put Yong on the clock, so 30 seconds up, left-hand corner. She needs to shoot, otherwise it will be Kawhi with the early lead. And historically, even when Kawhi is not on the shot clock, she's known to take shots. She's so aggressive. Sometimes you can watch a match and you just can see certain tendencies. And with these two, <laughs> it appears to me they know each other so well. They do, they do. And you'll see that Young, she keeps getting her right arm tied up because Japan knows that she needs that arm to shoot. She gets it on that driving double, keeps really good position, keeps that leg. You'll see she has the, the leg turk right down there. She is not gonna let go of that. So two on the takedown, should be two more on exposure, and it's a 5 nothing lead for Kawhi. <laughs> Trying to turn underneath is Young. Come around full circle, and Kawhi unable to maintain that leg control, and nice little exchange there for the Olympic champion and world champion, Sako Kawhi. Young needs to stay calm, cool, and collected. There's still three minutes left. She's going to be able to come back, and she there is a possibility for her to be able to come back and get another five points to be able to tie it up. So they go to the intermission with Kawhi on top in search of her third straight world championship. One of the more dominant wrestlers in the sport of women's wrestling, Kawhi. One of four. Olympic champions for Japan back in 2016. Followed up a Rio gold with world titles in both 2017 and then again last year in Budapest. Such different feels from the corner. When you look at Kawhi, when she's in the corner, her coaches are getting her to calm down versus China, they're getting her amped up. They're saying she needs to move. She needs to get some motion. Period number two with Yong Ning Ning and a quick shot right off the whistle by Kawhi. And two is confirmed. I mean, that whistle had barely started and she was right in. It's about as quick a takedown as you're gonna see. Seven nothing, Kawhi with the lead here in the second period. Are you surprised by the lopsided score right now? You know, Kawhi has the absolute ability to win every single match that she wrestles. 
She's being very calm, very calculated, really great defense right now. She needs to get right behind her, follow that through, follow that through to get her two points, quick scramble. If she's able to turn that in and capitalize in that parterre position, she can get a tech fall and close this match out. You have about 10 to 15 seconds before the refs call you back up. One more point, and she will get a tech fall for this match and become the gold medalist. That means that Young, she's going to have to really rally in a big way. Straight on shot by Kawhi. China fighting for survival Good. with a throw, and that should be back points. It's confirmed four, and a world champion says not so fast. And she's right there trying to get that a, a gut wrench, looking to try and get underneath. Kawhi has such good defense. She's so heavy on that mat right now. But Yang is really getting some angles, getting some motion, trying to get some pressure to do whatever she can. She's not going to have much time, so she's going to have to capitalize and use all that torque and all that pressure. She did get her over for two. She got her back past 90 degrees to get those two points. Close the gap on this score. It is now six to nine. So don't go anywhere quite yet. Kawhi for a moment looked like she might end it early, and then all of a sudden the world champion defending her title in her weight, 9-6. Six. six unanswered. She's back in it. Kawhi. Does this change her strategy at all? Well, Kawhi can't stop wrestling. Whether she's up nine to zero or nine to six, she has to keep advancing and keep pushing the pace. Because if she starts to stay stagnant or still, that's when Yang is going to capitalize and get those big moves like that four point throw. It's gonna have to start shooting more frequently. Tries the arm throw, spun it around, comes up empty. Young has 15 seconds, so she knows that she's going to have to bring a flurry in order to be able to get into those legs that have been so elusive. And Kwai is just passing her elbows, passing it by, doing whatever she can so that she doesn't have to engage. Japan has had some wrestling legends this past decade. We talked about Kaori Icho and what she was able to do for Japan. Risako Kawai is right on her heels. A third consecutive world championship for the first time. It comes at 57 kilos, an Olympic weight, as she will search for her.